this rupture farms. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave, like all the others. Until the beaches were through. We still made pear by pies. And we made some good scrap cakes, too. I thought I had a good job, but that was before I knew how we'd make new and tasty. I was still defined. The truth, it turned out. Now that would blow my mind. The Gluckins were scared, cause profits were grim. Paramites and scrabs had been turning up thin. As you can see, things are going Watch. But Mullet was cool. Some big face appeared and said I was dead. Said our land was changing, was imbalanced at best. 
he told me my fate was to rescue the rest. For Paramites and Scrap had been sacred once. That was before Rupture Farms turned them into lunch. And they live in the temples, and that's where they still nest. And facing these creatures, that was my test. I saw a Paramodian, ancient and wild, where Paramites lived before I was a child. Ignored their cries. All right, we got to maybe we get to take off early. We cut them all up for paramite pies. to complete my fate. My test was completed. I expected to rest. Then Big Face revealed the intent of my quest. The two scars together on the back of each hand could shut down Rupture Farms and restore the lost land. I witnessed Scrabania. Desolate and fair. Boneyards of Scrabs. They used to roam there. Now they're cut, ground, and mashed into little cakes. Go get them! Critters destroyed for profit's sake. I looked upon the temple where the scraps should still nest. together on the back of each hand could shut down rupture farms <laughs> Oh. 
scars complete. The spirits took form. to kill most of the power. And there I was, in the final hour. Mullet saw what I was doing. He was pissed. He wanted us all killed. I rescued Mudokins, but who's gonna rescue me? Cause here I am. Right, boss. Face to face with Mullet, the glutton. <laughs> In case it was too cheap to purchase our last game, let me tell you a bit about what happened. It was all about this Abe guy that worked in this dumb meat factory called Rupture Farms. The place was run by Gluckins, and they was on the verge of going out of business. They had already chopped up all the wild creatures, so now they had no choice but to chop up Abe and his buddies too. Piss some folks off! And they didn't lift a finger to help Abe in the end. <laughs> but if you was halfway decent about it, and tried your best to save Abe Abe, and if you'd like to see it, you should dish out some cash and go buy the stinking game. And we gotta eat too, you know. His Scott hand branded on Moon's art face? This hero may free the Mojakin grace. With skin of blue and spirit guides too. Only he can save our bones from brew. But shall he fall to block and yoke? Modokin nation be doomed to croak. <laughs> Long 
long ago, the Budakins brought their dead here. That was before the Gluckins started stealing our bones. They used Budakin slaves to do it. Blind ones that couldn't see. The Gluckins didn't want anyone to know what they were digging up. And no one ever did. Not until the spirits of those bones paid me a visit. That's me! My name is Abe. I had just returned from saving 99 Moonakins from Rupture Farms. Uh, oh? <laughs> 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 when they came to see me. Abe, you're the savior of the Mudakins, so you gotta help us. The Glockins are digging up our bones. You gotta come to that room, Abe. Well, we'll see. We had to do something, so me and some others left to search for Necro. Our journey started well. We were kind of excited. Abe, you're just a crazy. Okay. <laughs> but by lunchtime, we were getting pretty uh, tired. Come on. Okay. How much longer? By dinner, it was unbearable. <laughs> it's because you were in this mess. This bird! <laughs> Can I go home? Oh. What's that? Don't Come down, babe. Where is that coming? Yeah! Hey, look at that. It's a bone. I think we're close. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Drink that! Why not? Cause, uh, if brews made by Gluckins, it's probably bad for you. What a wuss. I hear ya. Look, Abe, we came all this way just to help you. Well, but it's not unreasonable that we are just a little bit thirsty. Now, is it? Yeah, but in case you didn't notice, we just walked across the desert. So back off, Stitch Lips. But, no. I tried to stop them. But they drank the brew anyway. Lots of it. Then they got all sick looking. But they still wanted more. That's when I figured this whole thing out. Brew is made from our bones! This is bad. What do I do now? What do you do? How about leading us out of here? Uh, okay, follow me. Okay. But. Oh! Oops, I forgot he was blind. Help me rescue the rest of them. 
I can't believe it. That's him. It's that Abe guy. Promotion. Here I come. Free. are using your boats to make Soulstorm brew? Of course we do. That's why we need you. What could I do? You shut down Rupture Farms. You can shut down the brewery too. You want me to shut down Soulstorm Brewery? Okay, I'm afraid. Don't worry. We can give you powers. Yes, dear and powers. Yeah. You sure about that? <laughs> I've been through this before. Back when I got the power to shut down Rupture Farms. That's when I first saw the creatures of Oddworld as they used to be. Before we chopped them into tasty treats. We had forgotten our past, and now it was costing us our future. And even our soul. Come on up! No one improved! Well, what is it? Don't think! Drink! Uh, my... Uh... Ah, come on! Do it! Uh, okay. <laughs> At first, the Gluckins gave their brew away. Oh, tasty. But once the Mudakins started drinking it, they couldn't stop. Then those Gluckins told them that if they wanted to work, they could have all the brew they wanted. Only if you got a job. They fell for it. Step right up. Oh, I love his job. <laughs> Step right up. So now, the weirdos want me to destroy the brewery, but I gotta save the Mudakins there first. And I just got the power to heal Budokin sick from brew. gonna be pissed. First rubs your farms, now necromines. If he ever comes back, oh, we're screwed. Where you two see problems, I see opportunity. Now it's my, our turn to take over. Screw you, Ashlick. You ain't running nothing. Now, now, gentle glucks, let's not argue over who gets what. Hey! I got a career to consider. What are we gonna do about it? Huh? What? I don't know, I panic. No, you idiot. We're gonna lock this place up so tight that ape guy'd have to be invisible to get in. destroying Soulstorm Brewery, the main security gates can only be opened by direct order of high-ranking executives General Drippick, Vice President Aslick, and Director Flegg. 
If you have any further questions, please feel free to pull the lever to your right. you won't lose. Vice President Haslick addresses Mudok and workers. Those stinking slaves! I mean, my fellow employees. Uncle Haslick's been taking good care of you, right? I love all of you like you was my own, right? But if we don't catch this Eve guy, it's the brew vats for all of you! Now, what are you waiting for? Get back to work! Message brought to you by Soulstorm Brew. Our spew is your brew. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Hey! Uh, Vice President Housling. Yes, sir. Disarm the main gate. Gotcha, sir. Gotcha. Do it. Yes, sir. Man, he is pissed. The Magog on the march. News you can't abuse. General Drippick declares martial law. No Mamby Bambi Mudak and Meat Puppet is gonna make me look like a fool. We'll have that traitor Abe in no time. Or my name ain't the... Uh, uh, uh... That's Drippick, sir. Drippick! I knew that. I, I did, I knew Brought that. Brought to you by Mullock's Maplu. Say it, don't spray it. Hey, hey! This is a... Uh, uh, Rippick. Rippick! Open the main gates and do it! Gotcha. Right away, sir. Uh, let me see. What button was that? <laughs> the Magog on the march. News you can use. Director Flag reports bone production down. Ow! It ain't my fault! It's that Abe guy! First rubs your thumbs, now necromines! There ain't no bones anywhere! No bones, no brew! I am totally screwed! My career is over! <laughs> and it's all that blue bastard's fault! Brought to you by Scrap Cakes. Mm-mm. They'll cost you an arm and a leg. Oh. Hey, this is Director Flag! Yes, sir. Disengage Operation Lightning Bolt! Huh? What? Disarm the main gates! Oh. Do it, idiots! Oh, gotcha. Um, um, oh, there it is. Orders is orders. The Magog on the march. 
news for your blues. Warning, warning. Abe the Mudakin terrorist has infiltrated Soulstorm Brewery. Gluckin department heads explode. Oh, the horror. Even though brew production has plummeted, Mudakin slaves are disappearing left and right, and the toilets are backing up all over the place. Top management reports that everything is gonna be fine. Uh-huh. I'm out of here. Then I found out the other ingredients. Hey! How are we doing on tears? 20 gallons an hour, boss. What? That is not near enough. How are we going to get that deep rest flavor that's smooth without being bitter? You might as well take out their bones. It ain't my fault, boss. We keep running out of Mudakas. They keep disappearing. I don't need excuses. I need tears. Turn up the gun. Do it. I'm on it, boss. First our beat. Then our bones, now our tears! Hey! That bastard aims here! I demand to know who is at fault here! You're not pinning this on me! I'm telling you, it's that ape guy, Sal! Dump it, lose it, get rid of me! I, I work hard, I work hard! Well, if it gets to the boiler! The boiler? The boiler? What are we going to do? The boiler! What are we going to do? Yeah. Where's ground? Pants! I need some pants! It's not fair! We had twice the flavor! What? <laughs> I got out of there just in time. And I got the usual reception. The Budakins were slowly coming together. And they were using their skills to build something new. Hello, my name is Elf. Hi, Hi Elf. Elf. I had my first brew when I was with Abe in the desert. Oh. Oh. Wow. They were taking things one step at a time. Can I share now? No. Just shut up. All was going well. But we knew there had to be more of us out there. We're screwed. Oh. And we were gonna find them. Destruction of Rupture Farms is also behind the Soulstorm Brewery atrocity. I hit that guy! Stay tuned for more on this story as it develops. This message brought to you by. You! You're not going anywhere, Stitch Lips! You! You didn't save our buddy! But guys, it was hard! And you ain't getting away with it! Is a thing of beauty. This will be our finest brew ever! <laughs> you think we got enough, boss? What the hey? Let us go for the record! Pop it up! No! Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
memory of her that I have. 
You cannot face what's ahead if you choose to hold on to those strings of oppression. You must find and embrace your full voice. You must do it! But, but she was real. She gave me these. And, and no one else even remembers her, or... You are no longer a slave, Abe. You have worn those your entire life. But you and the others were under a spell, living your lives inside of lies upon lies, until finally it was the terrible truth you discovered that broke your mind free. Now, now you must grow! But how can I just... Your voice must grow for the lies to fade. The spell that deceived you must break entirely if you are to face what's coming. But we're free now. I just need some time. You have no time. Your voice, they believed trusted, followed, and it led them here. But even you have yet to fully embrace it. But you must, you must now, or our chance will be lost. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but not the shackles you chained to yourself. But it's over, and Rupture Farms is burned down. We're free now. No, Abe, not over. Just beginning. But I'm so tired. They're all tired. There is no rest. But with some time, There I... is no time. But we're safe now. Only for you few. And only for this moment. But this moment... Uh, what? Is over. Ah, we're discovered. Oh, no. It really is up to you. Now it begins, Abe. The fate of your entire people is up to you. Oh, 
sorry. I, I don't know how to help you. But you can. You can help us all. I thought I failed. I, I thought I, I'd never reach you. But, but you can. And, and you, you found me. You found me. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't save you. But you, but you can. You, you can save them all. But the others already dying. Who? Boss, 
And maybe while we're there, we can pick up some reinforcements, you know? I mean, we we did kind of lose a lot of good guys back there. Bunch and... of idiots couldn't stop one stinking slave. Whoa, uh, a little harsh, maybe, uh, boss. I mean, uh, I know you've been working your whole life to retire on one of those mega luxury air yachts and all. And I noticed Abe guy burned that dream to smithereens. <laughs> but maybe, maybe we clean this all up and you can still afford one of them economy models. You know, you buy it used off of e crappy. Get us to slick barracks. Do it! Of course, boss. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm dying. We're gonna get, bring this puppy home. We are gonna bring this puppy home. Unbelievable! Well, I tell you, he knows how to drive a train. He swiped the manuals out of shipping years ago. He's been reading them ever since. Hmm. Well, I was given this from a Budokan escapee from Necromines. He died looking for us. Man, that's terrible. What's that? A map? Huh. I guess it is. And this came with it. Whoa! Creepy, right? Yeah, creepy. With his last breath, he said they're all dying. Well, who's dying? Our followers. They're all dying. What do you mean, our followers? I think he means, since we fled the farm, rumors have been spreading throughout the factories. The Dawkins have started escaping, and now they're trying to find us. I told you that would happen! Anything else? Well, I found some sick Mudakins. They escaped from other factories, but they were dying. All of them were dying. With their help, I discovered an antidote. They made some medicine, and it fixed them. But I still don't know why they got sick. Nothing else? He said we needed to. Find the keeper. What's the keeper? Um, what's it doing? Well, uh, I don't know. It. Whoa. Whoa! Ooh, look at that! Look where it's shining! Even though the train is bouncing around, the light stays right on. Necrom. The Keeper? I hope it ain't telling us. The Keeper is in Necrom. Nobody wants to go to Necrom. It's like that, it's coming up. What are we gonna do? I also found another guy. He left a note for me. Said we gotta know what's on this tape. Is that an old plate of tape? Not too old. They still using that communication up. Okay, looky here. Slate Barracks is the next stop on this line. It should have a communication outpost, shouldn't it? Yep. If we don't take out that comm tower, then every factory ahead of us, including Necro Mines, they're gonna know we coming. But first I gotta play this tape. Yep, you gotta play that tape.
masters of esteemed Magog Cartel. What I propose to you today is the ultimate employee performance and job retainment solution. For years, it has been my quest to find the upper limits of Mudokin labor capabilities, as well as their potential addiction dependencies, so that tomorrow, your conglomerates of factories may profit from maximized labor performance, chemically induced loyalty, and the end to labor escape whistleblowers, and those costly PR nightmare blowbacks. Only Soulstorm Brew takes performance, chemical dependency, and profitability to entirely new levels and sustains them. Our solution is simple. Two brews a day keeps job performance at the peak operability. But if that laborer ever makes a run for it, within 48 hours of not having access to our beloved brew, their withdrawals will have kicked in and become so severe that in only a few hours, the little wannabe whistleblowing ingrates will be dead. Dying? They will not be running to cities because they will die before they ever get there. They will not be meeting with union representatives because they will never reach one. They will not be causing you PR nightmares because they will be dead. Oh no, the followers, they're all dying. From the broom! Yo, pray! Right you see all those pipes out there? Those are the brew pipelines. They started South Park Brewery, where all that brew starts getting pumped out to all those factories across Smudos. Imagine that. Hey, how's it go? We got problems. You think? It gets worse? Much, much worse. I played it. Gosh. Now I know why the others are dying. It's the brew. It, it's killing them. That's ridiculous. Brew never killed nobody. We've been drinking it all our lives. That's just it. It's when we don't have brews, that's when we get sick. Because the brew, it's designed to kill us if we ever escape. But we're okay and we escaped. But only because you stashed brews for us when we split the farm. Then the train we stole had brews on it, and we got lots more. But when we run out... We're, we're screwed. screwed. But you said you crafted a cure. But only in little doses. Not enough for a whole continent full of factories full of slaves. And a lot more rumors will be spreading after what we've done today. With lots more escapes, and lots more dying. I need to find the Keeper. We gotta get to Necrom. It's the next stop, Abe. Insurance. 
are guaranteed that would prevent anything like this from ever happening. But it is happening, and we're past that creep's expiration date. Unless they had brew with them, how do you explain it? Maybe the brewmaster's solution is failing us. Welcome back to News for Your Blues. Following up on our top story, how Moloch the Gluckin deceived his own investors after burning down his own farm for the insurance moolah in a truly diabolical act. Now we expect Glucks to be greedy. Heck, we even bank on it. But this Gluck doesn't just take the cake, he steals the whole cake delivery blimp, then makes a run for it. Here at the site of the once top performing meat farm on Mudos, now just a smoldering disaster area that has suffered massive casualties, a charge some call the mass murder of a loyal labor force betrayed by the Glock States. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Security chief here. Have you been able to reach the brewmaster yet? Sorry, sir, but the communication lines seem to be down all along the Z line. Hmm. How often does that happen? Only once that I know of, and that was a hurricane. One other thing, though. There's this, uh, conspiracy theory floating around about a uprising at Rupture Farms. Claim some PTSD slick survivors. They've been rambling on about a supernatural slave took out Mullock's place and escaped with the rest of the slaves. Says they didn't die there. Thought you should know. Would Mullock really burn his own farm down? Or is the brew failing us? Um, Mr. Morgan, I, I know we're in a creepy business digging up bones and stuff, but sir, that's the most terrifying thing I have ever heard you say. Keep trying to get a hold of the brewmaster. Alert me when you get him. Oh, you can count on me.
I've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? Are you the keeper? We're all keepers here. Since the beginning. What do all of you keep? We keep the oldest things, eh? Dangerous things. Each other. And the secrets. Secrets? Secrets of crimes hidden throughout time, long since buried in lies. Lies you know as history. A false history written in our blood. These walls hold the memory of what happened. What really happened. For the Keepers, remember everything. Their memories are most dangerous things. Things that would threaten even the most powerful bloodlines that rule the industries of Odd World. They would destroy this place if ever it were discovered. This is why our keepers, their memories, must remain hidden, must stay secret. But only for so long as it takes you to unleash what's coming. What's coming? What do they know? They know what you need to know, babe. But you're unable to see it. Just yet. Just yet. When you return with the stone of the Fragon's Eye, only then can you see. Return? Return from where? The depths. Down there? Down there. Where you can return with the eye and receive the branding, so you can see. The branding? Mm-hmm. And it will go right... there. You can return with the eye, Abe. As long as you remember, they don't like the light.
Keeper? Such terrible truth, so much for a heart to bear. Why would they? How oh, could they? I'm so sorry, Abe, but you needed to know who we really are, what happened to us, and what's at stake if you don't succeed. You must taint the brew, Abe, for the brew is what keeps the rest enslaved. Break its spell with your remedy, 
or our kind will never be free. Break the spell. For what good is a poison that's tainted with its cure? we thought. What's that? Well, we've been taught. Our whole lives in the factories. Everything we thought we knew. It's all lies. But the truth? We're not just the schmucks we always thought we were. We're something much, much more. And, but, but right now, we gotta survive. And what the Keeper said we need You to found do. the Keeper? I did. And she told us what to do. But what she meant, I can't figure out. Who, wait, she? Was she hot? Hell, no, she was the oldest thing I've ever seen. Oh. Well, what'd she say? She said we needed to take the brew. Because it keeps us all enslaved. But we knew that. Say anything else? She said, for what good is the poison if it's tainted with its cure? But what does that mean? Just doing that creepy stuff again. Those are ingredients. I wrote them down when I was figuring out how to craft medicine for the sick guys. But I... The ingredients, it's like they're all swirling into the brewery. Does it want us to mix them into the brewery? What good is a poison if it's tainted with its cure? The brewery pumps brew out to all the factories in Mudos. Maybe it's telling us to mix your medicine into the brew before it gets pumped out to all those factories. But I only crafted the medicine in small doses. How would we ever find enough to mix it for all those factories and all those slaves? But you already got the recipe, and it's only five ingredients. But how will we get enough to match Dos Mudos' biggest brewery? How about Vico Depot? Huh? huh? Vico Depot. It's close by on the Z line, and its switch track is coming up. But Vico's a freight yard, not a deep, dark abandoned mine shaft like where I found the stuff. I don't know, eh? Anything manufactured on Oddworld passes through places like Vico Depot every day. And all those ingredients you wrote down, I'm pretty sure they're all used by food, drug, and makeup companies, aren't they? I guess they are. Toby, if we can get Abe into Fico Depot, then maybe we can get some favors from some old buddies still slaving away there, and they could ID the right containers, and Abe could help them load them onto this train. Then run this train right up that perfect Maybe that's it. If we don't do this now... We gotta try. Let's, let's do, do it. it.
What? You know this is my nap hour? Uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Aslick, but, uh, there's these rumors been spread around about uprisings and train hijackings and... You woke me for rumors? For silly conspiracy theories? Well, but the guys, they're, they're pretty freaked out and they're... Damn it, there is no Abe guy. There is no uprising. Mullock burned down his own damn farm. We know this because never in history has a Mudokin beaten a Gluckin ever. Oh, uh, of course you're right, Mr. Aslick. I mean, I didn't mean to. Huh. They'll believe anything. What is it now? Excuse me, sir, but I uh, thought you should know. There's these rumors circulating. Hijackings, uprisings, instantaneous combustion, creepy stuff. Troops are getting worried. So me and the boys were thinking that yeah, maybe we should... Don't. Uh, excuse me, sir? Don't think. It makes you say stupid things. For decades, my brew has ensured against such possibilities. You would if it ain't working anymore. You dare suggest my brew isn't working? Uh, you, uh, but don't I pay you to suppress rumors? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, you do, sir. Well then, do it! This makes no sense. My brew has always worked. There must be some other... Mm, Mullock. Mullock, this is his doing. His plot has failed, and to save himself, he's trying to blame my brew. That traitor!
Uh, well, I didn't mean to think out no boss at all. 